Uh, all right, we are the Threading in Python group. Uh, I'm Win. I'm Azim. Um, and uh, as you guys can expect, uh, threading in Python is way easier than in C. So what is Python? Uh, so it's a general purpose, object-oriented, high-level uh, programming language. Uh, it is dynamic, and it's compiled at runtime. And it's also dynamically typed, meaning that variable types are computed at runtime. And what's really nice about Python, it's written a lot like pseudocode, and it's really concise and easy to read, which is why it can be used as a first language for beginners. And uh, unbiased opinion, it, uh, it's better than C. Uh, Multi-threading is when uh, multiple threads uh, run simultaneously on the same uh, part of a, of a program. Uh, so threads share process resources, so multiple threads can work in one process. Um, they execute independently from each other, so they are running completely independent from each other. They, they do not have to talk to each other at all in order to run. Um, and they can help speed up programs by dividing work. Our program uh, was to update stock ticker info using threading. Um, it was uh, designed to retrieve uh, stock information from uh, Yahoo Finance's API. And uh, each thread that we made uh, updated one stock's information at a time. So uh, threading in Python, we use the timer class, which uh, basically you uh, specify a duration, uh, what function you want the thread to run, and the arguments that you want to pass into that, uh, th that function uh, when the thread begins. Uh, and so you basically set t.start, and that begins the timer, uh, that then once that timer has elapsed, the thread begins, um, and then uh, the uh, thread function is run. All right, now we're going to talk about the impact and the importance of threading. Uh, so we have some uh, threading pros and uh, cones. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so some uh, pros of uh, multi-threading is that um, uh, it's fast. Uh, multiple threads within a process can share the same data space and therefore communicate with, with each other more easily than if they were separate processes. processes. And uh, threads are also cheaper and uh, they don't require much memory. And some of the cons are, uh, uh, one issue you can have with threading is interference, where two or multiple threads can be working on the same line of data at the same time, and this can cause strange, unexpected results. Uh, another con is deadlock. You, you can have a lock where uh, two threads cannot work on the same line at the same time, and this can lead to a thread waiting for another thread. Uh, basically, they wait forever, and they become locked, hence the term deadlock. And another con, uh, it can be really difficult to de debug and test your code when multi-threading. Uh, and here's a quick little uh, flow chart of what happens basically with threading is a user starts a program, uh, the variables and everything are initialized, um, and then uh, the main function will then split off some threads to work at, on something at the same time, and then the threads can converge later uh, in main or in some other function again uh, before the program ends. Um, and here is a quick example of our uh, program working. Yo. So each uh, stock here is updated individually using a different thread. So we have eight different threads running at once. And uh, here's a quick overview of our code. Um, it's really ba some basic uh, Python, um, but you do get to a point here where there's a timer that's set for a function called get and update. Uh, and that get and update function is run. It gets the information from the stock, and then it itself queues up a new timer that runs itself again. Therefore, that thread continually runs over and over and over again, and it starts its own thread. Uh, and that is the end of our presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, and thank you for a great year, Professor Hill.